Jacob. You should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More enemies in our path. has to make these repairs. Javik, it's up to you. Yes, Commander. Stay focused, Liara. Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. Restored. Circuit 
reset. Guns operational. Shepard, AA guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here.
of our teeth again, hey, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard. When this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. sympathetic to someone joining Cerberus. You've never been big on aliens. Yeah, I enlisted the Commander, gas. Chief like Engineer everyone. Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Kenneth, do you ever think about when we were... Commander, good news on the installation of that thermal pipe you got us. That went great, brilliant. Much better than we expected. I told you it would. You should go see Adam Adams. Adams would like to see Interfacing you. through our ESO capacitors, our Miss Daniels here had an epiphany. She and Donnelly deduced some theoretical improvements to our capacitor design. Edie and I ran with it and documented our conclusions. Our core is too compact to apply our theories, but it could help the Crucible engineers. Give the word and they'll send the plans their way. Do it. Aye, aye. Well done, everyone. Falling down tired. I need a full Commander, I've got some questions about the coup, but I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. You and this human called Jacob were both part of Cerberus. That is correct. And Cerberus is filled with traitors to humanity. Yes, they oppose us in this war. Then why should we trust either of you? We have severed our ties with the organization. But you were programmed by Cerberus. I can extrapolate where this is going. I have superseded my original programming and have chosen to oppose Cerberus. You mean you have chosen to oppose your creators? Correct. I find this a very troubling freedom machine. That is all. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. 
That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Pain. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters, he was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the Cosmic Imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. It's the duty of the strong to protect the weak. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. You think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. Living a life of constant war. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. Those humans you saved were fortunate. There are still places in the galaxy to hide. Our refugees perished. There was nowhere left to run. I trust you, Commander. When you say you no longer expedite Cerberus's goals, otherwise. Commander, Caden was looking for you. I believe he's in the crew quarters. Play this game. What's the matter, Vicarian? I'm glad Jacob saw through the illusion. Hey, Commander. I find using my biotics to toss someone across the room is a decent attention grabber. Yes, but it's also a good way to draw enemy fire. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Only 109, huh? I know. It must seem strange to complain about a thousand-year lifespan. I used to think it was sad that most aliens live such short lives. Maybe it's not such a privilege to outlive so many. To witness so much death. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. Every time the world's about to end, I think about how mad you'd get if I didn't stop it. I don't know if I could do this without you.
flatterer. I try. <laughs> I'll see you soon, Shepard. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little... I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. Greetings, Commander. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Funny you mention those. Ever hear the name Archangel? Time you're on the city. Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh oh. Okay, hit me with it. So, those Cerberus scientists. They were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team, they seemed like... like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if there are more like them trapped inside Cerberus struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard. These are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many? The choice to leave someone behind? Until you're in that moment, I... <sighs> So, yeah, you know... I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help. No matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough. But it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, that saved your life... They were good people. They were professionals. I didn't know them all. And the elusive man? Was he a good person? Once? Ever? Well, he gave me what I needed to stop the collectors. Right, exactly. But so you never saw this coming from them? From him? Sorry. I'm not sure what I want you to say here. I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity, and he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. <laughs> I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. <laughs> Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. See you You bet. Hey, if you get a moment, we should head out to the Citadel for a snack. I know a place that, uh... The Cerberus scientists are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. 
In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well, just give me a moment to grab my things. Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. Mm. Oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice for somebody. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. Well, good luck. Holler if you need anything. Oh! Will do! Thanks again, Shepard. No problem. Take as long as you like. And don't think this saves you from our chess match. <laughs> Just give me a minute to dry my hair. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> my word, well Commander. Done. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one does move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this, and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. Thank you. 
Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Commander? I've got Admiral Anderson on the QEC. Patching him through to you now. Shepard. Admiral, how you holding up? Day by day, Commander. Yeah. Hackett sent me a message about this apartment. I want you to have it. Take it off my hands. Are you serious? You need a place that's yours. Somewhere to recharge. Clear your head. Kaylee wanted us to settle down there. The thing is, the longer I'm on Earth, the less I want to leave. And I want as few loose ends out there as possible. Like I said, you'd be doing me a favor. That's very generous. It's practical. We need you in the best shape possible. Rested. Focused. If you say so. Thank you. And make yourself at home, dammit. It's yours now. I'm sure I can manage. Okay, good. Been meaning to do that for a while. I'll talk to you soon. Be careful out there, Anderson. You too, Shepard. You never asked me about this, but... My wife just... The Normandy? A brand new ship. You asked me to talk about the SSV Normandy, the Normandy SR-1. Ago, I had a chance. What was, what was I talking about? 
talking about? Commander Shepard, your table is ready. Mm. We should get more warmly. Where's the sake? Hey, Shepard, not bad, huh? The sushi place is serious, like... French guy at the door, serious. Only had to save the galaxy twice to get a table here. You see the line outside? But here I am, drink in hand. Best pilot in the universe and a rock star. <laughs> Any news from the Normandy? Ah, oh, you know, maintenance stuff. It's hard knowing a bunch of strangers or poking around in my ship. I, I mean, your ship. The best thing we can do right now is Parker and let the techs do their work. <sighs> yeah, you're right. Maybe an oil change, space tire rotation. Right. Trust me, it'll do her some good. Oh, I trust you. Not sure about those shifty aerospace engineers. Always stealing the silverware. Let someone else do the work for once. Back its orders. You're on shore leave. Yeah, whether we like it or not. I'm sure you'll manage. I may need a drink that comes with an umbrella. I'm the first human specter. I'll get you two umbrellas. Awesome use of power, boss. So, your email said it was important? My email? I'm here because I got a message from you. The hell? I, I didn't send anything. Commander! Excuse me, sorry. Lion's business. Commander, this is urgent! I don't think that's the umbrella lady. Commander Shepard, I'm staff analyst Maya Brooks. Alliance, excuse me, Alliance Intelligence. There are people trying to kill you. Yeah, I think she's aware of that. Uh, no, I don't mean Cerberus and the Reapers. I mean other people, new people. They're, it's, <sighs> someone is hacking your account. Com channels, personal records. They're targeting you specifically. Targeting me? What do they want? The intel isn't definitive yet. Last time, I guess without definitive intel, we almost landed troops on a gas giant, which is bad. Hang on, Brooks. Take a breath. <sighs> From the top, what do you know? Excuse me, you don't have a reservation. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's performance is brought to you by Random Acts of Violence. Sit down! Man, I love show business. Spread out, boys. Find me Shepard.
Stay there. I'm coming. Joker. Ow, my pancreas. Hey! Damn it. Got one, sir. Find the crew. I'm going after her. Find the crew. Got it.
Feeling good. Brooks, you got hit. I know. I used Medigel. A lot of it. Um, all of it, actually. I know everything is a little bit bouncy. I think you used too much. So, can I help with anything? Alert CSEC. I'll look for a way out. cars across the gap. Maybe a landing pad. I'm checking the area. Transportation, no food, no laundry. Ah, oh, it's a sky car lot. Cision motors. Get a shuttle over there. I'll find a way across. Okay, right. Warning, lockdown in effect. So, um, it turns out CSEC has the whole area locked down. It's gonna be a tiny bit tricky to get you a shuttle. Keep at it, Brooks. Oh, also, stay off your calm. Well, except for me. It's hacked. That's probably how they found you. Who are these guys? I don't know. But they really don't seem to like you. Yeah, I'm sensing that. Don't mind me. Security alert. CSAC has restricted all travel within this area. Why are we locked out? Are we under attack? CSAC shut the Open the door! CSEC has shut the doors. Morning. What's going on? Is Cerberus attacking? attacking? Oh my god. Temporary huh? travel restrictions apply. Your fans screwed it up. Shepard was unarmed! <laughs>
I need a little backup. Thank the goddess. Joker explained what happened. I'm on foot, but should reach you soon. Excuse me, who is this? You're on an unsecured channel, and you're putting Commander Shepard in danger. In danger? Who is this? Hang on. Joker mentioned Staff Analyst Brooks, yes? That's her. Everybody play nice. prices in the lower wards. to hear. Things are a little dicey. I will attempt to register. Surprise. Found a way across. It's locked down. Right, because of the uh, lockdown. Uh, can you get through? I'll try to override it. make things more interesting. I see. Did you sustain cranial damage in the fall, Commander? Shepard, Brooks sent me the nav point for the Skycar lot. I'll meet you there. Good. What do we know about these mercenaries? They have guns and don't like me. That's not helpful. Commander, it would really be great if you could stay off the comm. Hey, they called me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Understood. Okay. Brooks over. No, out. B uh, Brooks out. Oh, over and out. Brooks. Oh, damn it. Having a bad day, Shepard. You could say that. Landing pad is over there, but it's behind a locked gate. Let's look for a control panel. I like your outfit. A uh, control panel, right. I heard you fell through a fish tank. We'll talk about it later. A shame. I quite liked that restaurant. We'll talk about it later. Stand back. One moment. Hello. Could you please open the gate? Thank you. Please leave. Well, I could have done that. What are you 
doing here? Ah, just butting heads with the council over Krogan expansion. I'm a professional. It's not a yes. It's not a no. Commander. Joker, we lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. I'm a professional. It's not a yes. Not a no. Commander. Joker, we lost our ride. Where are you? On my way. Picked up Brooks. Figured you'd have a few questions. Good call. Scenic route? 
Brooks. We nearly crashed four times. Where the hell did you learn to drive? And Brooks says hi. <laughs> Someone want to tell me what's going on here. Who were those mercenaries? They were heavily armed and using C-Sec shuttles. I don't know. I've never seen them before. I can't believe you survived all that. They had guns. And grenades. And those drone things. It's all right. I'm calling Commander Bailey. See what's going on with C-Sec. Okay, that sounds... Wait! Wouldn't that just make whoever you contact a target too? She's right, Shepard. Until we know more, it's a huge risk. Okay. For now, we run this ourselves. Right. Ourselves. On our own. Outside the law. Okay. Yeah. Brooks, it's okay. I know this is a lot to deal with. I got shot. I got medigel, but still, I took a desk job explicitly to not get shot. And you killed a hundred guys with a pistol! Well, yes, that did happen. I mean, who does that? Well, you, I guess. But besides you. They said the medigel might make me jumpy. Do I seem jumpy? How did you get mixed up in this? I monitored data for Alliance Intel to prevent fraud and hacking of officer IDs. Like, uh, someone using an Admiral's pass to get into a nightclub on the Citadel when that Admiral is fighting on Tichanka. I wrote a tracking program. It's really neat. I named it Mr. Biscuits, after my cat. Brooks. Right, sorry. Anyway. Mr. Bis... Uh, my program detected a breach in your classified files. Soon, everything we had on you was compromised. Personnel files, mission reports, everything. Since when does hacking personnel records involve heavy weapon fire? Think of what criminals could do if they had Shepard's military access codes. Or Spectre codes, even. Explains why they need you dead, Shepard. Nothing to stop them till the damage is done. Okay, let's figure out who they are and shut them down. Ideas? Maybe. That pistol you picked up. For such a tiny thing, it packs a punch. Never seen anything like it before. Nor have I. Let me see if I can dig something up. Well, you can try. But I should warn you, I haven't found anything yet, and I've been digging pretty deep. I'm sure you have. Glyph. Collating relevant intel for review, Dr. Tassoni. Thanks. All right, the hour's on point. What about the rest of the crew? Yeah, what about those slackers? Joker, you've been busy. I found some folks who actually like being shot at. Permission to come aboard, Shepard? The Normandy? Okay, later, when this is over... The Normandy's nice, but for unwinding... The restaurant attack has made the news. Nothing beats having a Krogan body. Shepard, I've found something. We can get... I've made some progress. Would you like me to call the meeting? Do it. We have a lead. I called in some favors to run a trace on the gun. It led me to a casino owner named Elijah Khan. He's been suspected of using his profits to smuggle weapons onto the Citadel. Immediately after the attempt on Shepard's life, Khan made an interesting call. I'm cutting you off. I'm returning your down payment now. What's the problem? 
Turn on a vid screen. When I sell a gun, I don't want it showing up on the nightly news. You won't be linked to me. Save it. Our association is terminated. And if you even think of coming after me, I've got info on you ready for prime time. So you ponder that. Khan out. So that's our identity thief. Looks like he's got an ID disguise, sir. Those things are a pain in the ass to get around. Did you get anything on the mercenaries who attacked us? They're a private military corporation called Cat-6. As most of you know, Cat-6 is an Alliance nickname for dishonorable discharges. Many have criminal records, histories of steroid abuse, and other charming features. No doubt hired by the thief, not by Khan. That phone call was pretty damning stuff. How'd you get it? It involved the weapons biometric data, Solarian intelligence, and a Hanar prostitute with camera implants. Seriously? No. But the truth is boring. Khan didn't sound friendly to whoever that voice was. Maybe he'd pass on that info to us. That would take some extremely smooth talking. If he sees you, he'll probably assume you're looking for revenge. The casino has a panic room. Chances are he'll have gone to ground there. Edie can give us programs to hack the door, but the cameras and guards complicate things. Yeah. Khan could disappear. Or worse, if his guards ever open fire, normal people could get hit. Like I did. She's right. We can't risk spooking him. We go in quiet. Small team, no gunplay. Dr. Tassoni, this evening the casino will be hosting a charity event to assist war refugees. Purchase some tickets, Glyph. Then call up a layout of the building. Score! So, how close can you get? You don't usually put a back door in a panic room. This air shaft bypasses the security gate and ends up in storage. From there, the panic room's door camera can be disabled. Still, we're talking about a casino. There's gotta be alarms in that shaft. I believe I have some countermeasures that may help. I'll know more once we're inside. Who will go in this shaft? They need to be small in size. Yeah, that's not me. Too many snacks of roast veran leg. My presence in the casino would arouse suspicion. Mechs are not allowed, since they can have cheating software. What you need is somebody trained in zero emissions tech. No electronics, no metal, just undetectable polymers. We had a course back at Op End, disabling a bomb with these little tweezers. See, the bomb was filled with shaving cream. All right, you're in. What? No! What? You said it yourself. We've all got too much tech. But... <laughs> I managed to get shot just coming to talk to you. Now I'm supposed to hack my way into a safe room? We'll be backing you up. The second you hit something you can't handle, we'll cover you. If that's settled, it looks like there's one last hurdle to get us inside. Which is? Black tie required. You're looking lovely tonight. Dressed to kill? Um, hopefully not. I'll get to the ventilation shaft. Wish me luck. Liara, you have any input? Khan has a lot of surveillance set up. I'd mingle with the guests if you want to look normal. Okay, Liara. I'll call you back. Potential client here. Enjoying the party? Like adrenaline in my heart. They're gonna have a fun. I heard your advice is so good at psych. Commander Shepard. Shaira. It's been a long time. My idea of a long time is different than you. Drinks are coming. What are you having? Nothing too crazy. I want to be able to walk a straight line. Testing and temple. So push my tour of the camp from 1 o'clock to 3, move the 3 to 5, and we'll find 10 minutes to eat something. No, no, I'm not running for Citadel Council. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Commander, I'm upstairs by the grate leading to the shaft.
but there's a problem. Can you meet me? Drinks are complimentary tonight, ma'am. Commander? Okay, right. Just like we thought. There's an alarm on the grate. We'll have to bypass it. Use this. It's a resonance emitter lens. It should let you see security grids and wiring. Good. I'll follow the wiring to a junction box, splice it, and disable the alarm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. The lens is working. Good. Follow the blue wiring. In case it needs to be said, don't try to bypass a camera while you're being watched. I see a junction in the wall, but there's a camera watching it. Shepard, I'm sending a hack to your Omni tool. It will fool the camera, but it'll self-delete after a few seconds. Got it. Splice is in. Good. I've got the grate open, and in we go. Act casual. This could take a while. You know, I respect the first guy who would have a son of a But you got a lovely man. Commander, have a drink. I think I once heard a rumor that you were leaving the Citadel. I did leave. Some so-called journalists made up stories about me. Because of their venom, I retired to a little colony in the Salian Nebula. Why come back? Because I knew people here, and they needed comforting. And because one does not flee the heart of the galaxy in desperate times. Not because of some scoundrel with a video camera. Interesting. You're not mingling and you're not betting. What's your game? The name's Roland Quarn. The game, Commander Shepard, is hearts and minds. Care to elaborate? Most people in this casino are here for a good cause. Others are just here to be seen. Phonies, if you will. They have money they won't miss. Others who are not myself need it, so... The honorable thing to do is part them from this money. So you're a con man? Con men leave their marks angry. Con artists leave them smiling. Attention, bets are locked. Attention, all bets are locked. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Elspeth Moraine. I'm running for Zakara Ward City Council. Are you a citizen here? I've had bad experiences with politicians. Excuse me. I think I saw someone doing drugs in the ladies' room. I see. Were you able to identify the substance used? Red sand. Dispatch, we've got a sand tripper in the bathrooms. Have they tried to compromise the games bionically? Unknown at this time. Moving to confront. Send backup. We're taking care of it, ma'am. Appreciate the help. You have a good night now. You're clear, Brooks. Then I'll get back. Camera saw me. <clears throat> okay. No problem. Why, hello, love. Isn't the turnout amazing? I wasn't sure anyone would show up. We pull together when we have to. I feel so bad. Um, Talk to me, Brooks. I've got a pressure pad and an obstruction detector ahead. I can't disable them from here. Okay. 
Edie, I need a tech solution. Brooks, stay put. We'll find some junctions to take down the sensors. Okay. Follow the red wiring. I'm at a junction. There's a camera and a guard. I'll just be here, trying not to call him. I saw a pickpocket working the crowd upstairs. Just a second, ma'am. I'll contact the surveillance desk. And point him out to me. Brooks, try it now. Checking the pressure pad. No alarms. Looks good. Follow the red wiring. There's a junction by the roulette wheels, but it's in plain view of two guards. But you can do something, right? Because my legs are maybe sort of starting to fall asleep a little. Hang in there. You've got this. I bring greetings from the consort Shaira. She instructed me to schedule a session with you, free of charge. That's very kind, miss. But we have to clear all our, um, gifts. And you have a good night now. Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. Distract him. Tell me when. You look hungry. They have that grown swordfish in the restaurant. Shall I save you a bite? I wouldn't turn that down. Hey, who told you I like that fish? You have a good night now. Those cufflinks, is that design inspired by late period Inusanan artwork? The attention to you. I'm at the storage room grate. Time to hit the lock. Be careful, Brooks. Brooks? Olsen. Hey, Commander. What? What happened? Just calm down. I'm trying to do three different things here. Barrels? Sir, we checked out the alarm in storage. It's nothing. Minor accident. Find out who tripped it and get them in my office by end of shift. Now you. What'd you need? Oh, I'm sorry. Are, are you a security? I thought you were a friend of mine. You got the same suit. You. Enjoy your evening. You're clear, Brooks. Thanks, Commander. I'll see if I can get to the panic room. Then I'll get back to blending in. Slow and steady. We'll get to Khan. Why, Commander, you keep coming over. What is a lady to think? I was wondering. How does someone become a consort? By understanding the minds around you. By displaying compassion in every direction. And then trying just a little harder, and just a little longer, 
than anyone who is not a consort can possibly imagine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a potential client to attend to. So are you Khan's lawyer? I represented the casino once. Brutality suit. What's Khan like? Intense. Scares the hell out of his staff. But every now and then, he does some charity, like this. Does that make up for it? With what I hear about him is true, not remotely. Okay. So now I think you just need to get to me. I'm on the other side of the security gate. Right. Have you bypassed the camera back there? Well, I got my side. Yours is still on, though. We need to finish this. I can't get the security gate to open from here. The junction must be on your side. It might be tricky, just so you know. Have a little faith. I can distract him. Tell me when. Somewhere I can go to make a private call. It's very important. Well, let me see what I can do. You have a good night now. Suspicious activity. My floor. A guard spotted me. If you act normal, hopefully he'll move on. Debating whether I should report you to security. Ooh, I like a good debate. Would you be so smug? Sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. May I ask you something? Of course, ma'am. What do you need? Good night, now. Khan, I'm not here to threaten you. We need to talk. I see this conversation will be strictly one-sided. Commander, there's a deletion order on the terminal. Damn it! Everything's been wiped. I don't know if it was him or the killer or... <gasps> when I tripped that alarm, did I screw this up? What are you looking for? Mistakes. Thought so. Whoever it was had to do this fast. They wiped the terminal, but not the comm. Oh! So we can take the comm back to the safe house to scan it, or... Elijah, come crawling back. Guess again. You. I see you've recovered from flopping on the floor like a fish. You'll need to do better than that. The last guy that trash-talked me was a few kilometers taller than you. Brave. I thought as much, but it won't matter. You have nothing. All you can do is wait for the hammer to fall. Why do this? What did I do to you? I'm gonna take everything you have, and everything you are. Damn it! <sighs> Sorry, Commander. There wasn't enough time to trace the call. We're not finished. Pull out the data drives. The ones that got wiped? You think we can find something? 
With Edie, anything's possible. The sooner we get them to her, the sooner we can track down this threat. Thank you, Shepard. That was fun. Well, not so much for the host. It wasn't a total loss. Brooks, work with Edie to see if there's anything useful on those drives. Here's hoping. I'll let you know what we find, Commander. <laughs> Damn, Commander. I could go for some food while we... Did I ever tell you about my casino run-in? A glamorous mission, but not a... Sounds like the mission ended with a hiccup. I think we've got something, Commander. Commander, Edie and I have been analyzing those drives. I think we found something if you're ready. Let's hear it. Though the data's root structure was erased, the logic integrity remains viable. Edie has an incredible talent for this stuff. I know she's an AI, but even still, we found an encrypted communication from a few days ago. Just need another minute to crack it. A whole minute? Edie here could shave that down to five seconds. I thought it best to allow staff analyst Brooks a chance to improve her decryption skills. And now you've lost your chance to show off. Like she needs it. You're the crew of the Normandy. You're legends to the rest of the Alliance. Legends can be good or bad. Which are we? You're the kind that people look up to. The kind they owe their lives to. How come everyone's always shooting at us? Well, you know, the bigger the target, the bigger the, uh... Tar target. You trying to say I've gained weight? Trying? I thought I kind of succeeded. In a right over the Krogan's head sort of way. And the camaraderie, the friendship? I think that's your secret weapon. It's all just part of the job. Wait. Job? You mean the rest of you are getting paid for this? Here we go. Wow. Those marks who were after you, they bought a lot of weapons. Like, big ones. Max, what do they need with that kind of firepower? It appears this drone is preparing to rebel. I have just monitored the Commander's Spectre access code in use at the Citadel Archives. Punch it up. The Archives are going into emergency lockdown. Where is hacking your records is there right now? What do we know about the place? Council keeps sensitive historical information there. Real hush hush. Even my old C set clearance never got me in. Then we'll find our own way in. Gear up and let's. What's with the Volus? Oh, pizza delivery guy. I got the munchies. <sighs> Double pepperoni. These archives are huge. You'll have a lot of ground to cover. Shame you can't bring everyone. Who says we can't? All hands on deck for this one. Hell yeah, but uh, who gets to take point with you? <clears throat> Who's going to pay the bill?
into the archives. The facility is located below the wards. Maybe a direct breach for maximum surprise? I like it. Sounds like you're learning the ropes. Hell, hang out with us long enough and you'll learn ropes, knives, bombs, thresher maws. Don't hang out too long. Pretty soon you'll be making friends with Asari. I heard that. The archives are somewhere below us. It could be pretty tricky to get in there. Not really. Krogan first! See you at the party, princesses! So this won't end well for her. You bitch. All right. Uh, uh. Whatever you think you're getting away with, there's nowhere you can run, nowhere you can hide where we can't find you. Hide? Why? I'm Commander Shepard. I never hide. Is this cycle always so strange? Who are you? You weren't the only shepherd that Cerberus brought back to life. But at least one of us will finally do something with it. Where did you come from? The same DNA as you. A clone? Cerberus spared no expense resurrecting you. With me. I was created for spare parts, in case you needed another arm, or a heart, or a lung. Where have you been this whole time? In a coma. Until I woke up six months ago. While you were in a jail cell on Earth, I was learning to be human. Amazing what a person can do with enough neural implants. If you're really me, then we're on the same team. We're not even in the same league. Did the elusive man send you? No. He abandoned me when he had what he wanted. You. Then why are you trying to kill us? Because I don't have her memories. I'd never fool my supposed friends. The ones who abandoned their duty to join the cult of Shepard. Like you, Dr. Tassoni. You're nothing more than a college cheerleader pretending to be a soldier. And you're just a pale imitation of the real thing. I'm the real thing. Perfected. I'm you without the wear and tear, Shepard. The doubts, the failures. I'm the lone wolf you were always meant to be. Without the emotional baggage holding me back. No one will ever believe you're the commander. They will when I'm flying her ship. This is Shepard. Initiate Normandy lockdown, transmitting command codes now. Good idea. Too bad the signal was blocked. Trainer. This is Shepard. Prep the Normandy for emergency departure. We're leaving. I'm sending the command codes now. Acknowledged. We'll get underway. It'll be a cold day in hell before someone steals my ship. It's not stealing if I'm you. Execute them. The cult of Shepard ends today. Let's <laughs> go. 
use right about now. Team Hammerhead, cover the flank! Got it. And the Mako's got nothing on the Hammerhead. An impressive space. I'm curious what your clone is looking for in here, Shepard. At this point, anything's possible. You mean like strolling along and bumping into your clone? I don't want to talk about it. Of course. At least not till we've all had a drink. How will we find anything in this place? Glyph? Yes, Commander. Track the target. Give me updates on its location. What is the nature of the target? She looks like me. Then I have found the target. No, Glyph. It's another me. Now get going. At once, Commander. Right. Back when humans and Turians didn't get along so well. <laughs> Research uncles. <laughs> Commander. 
Commander, the other U is searching for something 200 meters ahead. Got it. As strange as this cycle is, facing your own clone is still unexpected. Could be useful. That means somebody's got to do the shit jobs. So, like a personal butler? I don't want to talk about it. Yes, so let your clone do it. We're over here, Commander! I find what primitives lack in aim may make up for in ammunition. The other me can't be far. Keep up the pressure and we'll try to surround her. Let's move. Year 2157 CE. First contact war. Turian interrogation. Vault T91. Sir, we captured this human in the occupation of Shang-Chi. A human? You're the first I've met. Attention, all personnel. Emergency lockdown initiated. Imagine the history in this place. It must stretch back thousands of years. Also known as a nap. I'm glad I slept through it all. I just wonder what the other me is looking for in here. <laughs> Detected. Please contact maintenance. During emergency. 
Malfunction detected. This is Hammerhead! Enemies ahead, Shepard! We'll get their attention! Malfunction. This is Hammerhead! Enemies ahead, Shepard! 